my question to you guys is what are you waiting for? Why are you waiting for you to express yourself in the way that you have always wanted to? I think guys are just They're really just hoping for and believing that one day that they will. That's so crazy that I say hoping for and believing because neither of these show that there's a promise. Because even when I say believing that one day it will happen, that's just by some circumstance that they will start expressing themselves. This is not really you, the guy, taking control. This is not him being able to change his circumstances by him doing something different. Hoping for. It's basically like, you know what? You know, maybe. Could happen. You know, it'd be bad if it didn't. And they don't have a sense of urgency. I think when a guy develops a sense of urgency, when he starts to know that every single day is unpredictable, this will put him into gear. Waiting. Hoping for. Believing that maybe. Prisons you. It imprisons you. From expressing yourself. Because any route. That's a way from true expression of right now, in this moment, is a dead route. The most alive route that you're ever going to feel in your life is the, is the route that is purely aligned with what's true for you right now. Why are you waiting to be truthfully yourself? Why are you waiting for some moment to happen that shows up, that tells you that you need to be that? And many of the times it never show up, never ever shows up because your perception of that moment will be based on what are your, what are your beliefs. And many, many guys or many people, they have beliefs that are structured around their fears. And none of those beliefs that structure around your fears can lead you into truly expressing because truth exists in the present moment. Truth exists with freedom in the same space. So what do you want, man? Yeah, this life you want women, you want a gang of women. You want women lined up waiting to see you. Who doesn't want that? But my thing is why don't you move toward that? Why don't you really take the actions that's needed for you to be able to live out the lifestyle that you truly cherish? My lifestyle that I have cherished since I was little is the lifestyle that I'm living now. Being accepted by myself, being accepted by those around me. Being someone that can express his heart. Being someone that can say no. Being someone that can bring women into his life who love him for him. But that journey, man, that journey was first 
propelled by taking control. And what do I mean by taking control? Is saying yes to the lifestyle that you desire. That's what I mean by taking control. It's saying yes to this moment of what you want to express. It's saying yes to your own knowing. It was so many times for me where I couldn't do all these things that I'm telling you guys to, or be all these things I'm telling you guys to be. It was, there was a point in my life where it was very difficult for me. And I'm not telling you guys that you should become perfect. Because in becoming perfect, you don't become anything at all. But what I am telling you is to, to stop waiting. To start being you now. Start being you. Start being exactly whatever it is that you want to express. Start being right now. You have to understand that being is more important than trying to do. I'll make a video on this, being versus doing, because doing, oh, you can actually just wait for that. Oh, I'm not going to spill it right now. But I want you guys to start being more. Being you is about what has been stopping me from being that, coming at peace with that, because in the coming at peace with that, the you really comes through. Something I noticed about myself is, what I did notice about myself is that I was incredibly afraid to really express myself in a way I wanted to just because of the resistance that I would feel around others. The uncomfortableness I would feel around others. The uncomfortableness that I would feel with their reaction to my expressions this is what really makes someone not be this is I would say one of the main things that makes somebody not be is being totally afraid of the reaction they're going to get for being that not even the reaction from the person but the reaction they will feel from the person it's like I will feel something when that person reacts a certain way or my projection of how that person will react to me. Example, remember, let's think about all the times in your life and you probably have times like this too. Think about the times where you wanted to say something, you wanted to do something that was totally in alignment with what, it, what you wanted to do, but you were completely afraid, completely afraid to do it just because the reaction that you thought the person in front of you or the people around you will give you and you and you became afraid of how you would feel from that that's really what it is it's so funny that guys are like man I just want to stop caring what people think <laughs> like yeah man okay you want to stop caring what people think, but what you don't, what, what you really want to stop caring about is the feeling that you're going to feel, the projected feeling you're going to feel from how people make their reactions on, uh, to what you do. That's what it is. So let me say it again in a more clear way. You, what you're really afraid of when you're not being yourself is the person's reaction in front of you and how that will make you feel. So you're scared, you're scared really of your own self. You're scared of the sensations that will come up inside of you because of how the world reacted to what you've done. You're not afraid of people. You don't, you don't care what people think. You actually don't. But what you absolutely do care about is how you feel. So your projection is, oh my God, I, I, I want to stop caring what people think. And I go, no, it's not what people think. You want to you want to start caring about something else because currently right now you care about 
certain sensations that come up inside of you because you give it so much meaning of what it, of how that plays into your character and your self-esteem. The waiting is just because of things like this. The waiting to be, the waiting to reveal, the waiting to express. Women are waiting for this. This is so crazy that women are just waiting for men to really just be. And at the same time, men are waiting for women to just be. I'm not gonna make it seem like women are all good and men are fucked up, no. I'll, I'll never do that. Never, never, never will I do that. Because it's two-sided. It's absolutely two-sided. As many men out there who are just completely like lost and fucking not being able to express themselves, it's, it's directly the same amount of women out there. But the women who actually do do work on themselves, who are open to an experience, these are the women you want. Who cares about the women out there who absolutely don't want these things, who believe that the only way to find your love is through a social circle? Who cares about that? Really, you don't need to go for those women. You can if you want to and open them up to a different world. But if they're structured in their own way and they're going to stick to that, there's nothing you can do about that. So your only focus should be the women out there who are open just like you, who want to be themselves who want to experience something new. And many of the times when you seduce a girl, it's been a girl like this. I can guarantee you 90% of the times it's been women like this because they're everywhere. But it, of course it takes us approaching a lot of them, a lot of women for us to find those girls like that. Because there's certain girls who are open to the idea of it, but who are really not open to it. So it takes us time and time, but women are waiting, man. The women who want you for you are waiting. This is so crazy that women out there, specifically like you, for you, but the crazy thing that I found out is that women out there, what they really love about men is not his specific personality because personality isn't real. And I heard guys keep asking me, why do you say personality isn't real? I think I'll make a, a video on that to stop thinking about personality as a real thing because personality is consistent when life is incon inconsistent, actually. But women, what I find that they really, really love about men and this about me as well, how, what women really love about me is really the fact that I am just expressing myself truthfully. That's all that it is. They may specifically like things about me that, you know, that I'm deep, that I'm very loving, that I'm caring, that I'm very, you know, direct, that I have, you know, unpre unpredictable nature. They may love these things about me when I'm silly, I'm goofy, I love, you know, kid-like things. They may love these things about me specifically, but what they really love is that I'm truthfully expressing myself. That's the common denominator underneath women tend to just be drawn to men like that because his groundedness is what makes them fall in love with him his groundedness is what makes them drawn to him being you is groundedness you're not grounded because you're not being you you're not being you because you're afraid of the uncomfortableness of how people of the people reacting to you expressing yourself so, and that makes you feel really, really uncomfortable. So you're really afraid of what you're going to feel based on the world's resistance to you. So what is the key to you being able to unravel all this? It's to start to become okay with the resistance from the world. The resistance from the world. It's just people's opinions people's intentions to harm and all the other things that come with that. 
But the thing that really scares us, I believe, and has definitely scared me, it's just I don't want harm to come my way. I don't want people to resist me with their judgmental opinions because when it's judgmental opinions, that's when it is an intent to harm. They're trying to harm my way of being without them even knowing. People have the intent to harm just because of how they feel about it. Just because it opposes something that they believe in. This is the resistance that makes us feel really, really, really bad. It makes us feel like people don't care. It makes us feel like we're not worthy. And what it all is, is just us feeling the intent, the harm coming our way. So when you're in there and you're fucking talking to a girl and you feel somebody looking at you, you actually feel in your body harm. You feel like they're harming you in some way. Their judgments harm you. <clears throat> the reason why is because you start to feel bad because you, first of all, it's a projection anyway, but you start to feel bad because they're looking at you maybe weird or they just zone in on you or maybe they start laughing at you or whatever it may be. You just start to feel that this person is bringing harm my way and I don't like that. Because who likes harm? Harm is pain. Who likes pain coming their way? Who likes to feel pain? That's what it is. It's like a person can have an intention to harm you, but it's how do you deal with that harm? So back to harm, that's the thing that we are most afraid of from people. Physical harm. At night going out and guys getting rough and, you know, Girls fucking, you know, pushing you or, you know, moving you out of the way or something like that. That kind of harm or during the days, you know, with the projection of what we think would happen. Or just the verbal harm of somebody saying something to hurt our feelings or somebody, you know, saying something to try to make us feel a certain way. These harms that are coming our way tend to imprison us. It tends to make us do things that we don't want to do. And many of the times, what you will notice is that it's projection first. It is projection, and then the reaction you have from your projection, the projection from fear, from, from that place, it makes you do all kind of things you don't want to do as well. So it's a very nasty cycles that's going on on the inside that's constantly stopping us from being ourself. And the resistance that are, that's around us from everybody around us that we feel is really just resistance within ourself. That's all it is. It is projected resistance. Because the moment that you allow the person to say whatever they're going to say or do whatever they're going to do, you will notice that it's not as bad as it seems. But your constriction, your intention to protect yourself without even anything happening is what the real issue is. How did I know this? I had to find this within myself. I noticed that when I was in front of people I wouldn't be expressing myself the way I want to. When I was in front of James, when I was in front of Liam, when I was in front of girls and stuff like that, I would be like, man, I'm not expressing this myself in the way I want to. Mm -hmm. Because I'm afraid of harm coming my way. I'm afraid of somebody not agreeing with me. Because it doesn't feel good to not, be in a, to not be agreed with when I know it's from my heart. It doesn't feel good for me not to be appreciated when I know that I've done something. That's worth appreciation. So I would just block off. And just be like, oh, it doesn't matter. And then I would just, you know, become kind of, you know, nimble about, I don't even know if that's a word. I keep saying that word. I become, you know, can nimble about 
you know, what I've done, which means I become very, very, you know, shy and reserved about it. And I was playing out some nasty cycles in myself and it didn't make me feel good. So that's the reason why I started to really unlock what is behind this. And what I figured out is the avenue for this to be able to help you understand the resistance and be able to accept the resistance of the world and be able to express yourself in a way you want to by accepting the resistance in the moment. It's just this cycle that, I, that I've come to notice within myself. Express. Feel. And allow. This amazing cycle will allow you to be yourself in the way you want to. Follow me for now, okay? Follow me. <clears throat> what I noticed is that once we express something, the tendency is to close or even before the expression is to judge our expression because we don't want to feel what's going to happen afterwards this nasty cycle is just the conditioning that we went through we've went through in some incredibly harmful and treacherous conditioning from our past from our childhood we've went through some really fucking bad conditioning that's taught us that there is a certain way we should be expressing yourself is great yeah because you know when we were young we even heard things like express yourself live out loud um be free. We've, we've heard all these things. Freedom of expression. We've heard all these things, but it's crazy that we've been conditioned out of these things. It's like everybody's saying it, but nobody really knows what it means. Because everybody who's even saying it, they're not even free. So, the judgment upon our expression started to come in because we started to notice that fuck. We've been taught to express ourselves freely and openly, but at the same time, we've been conditioned to not step on people's toes, not to say things to make people angry, to be polite. We've been conditioned in all these different ways that's opposing freedom of expression. We've been conditioned in all these ways to do things that are against what we actually feel to do, what we actually want to do. Now, where's the fucking, wherever we went wrong? And everybody feels this part of himself of like, something's wrong. I don't know why, but I just feel like something's wrong. But everybody's drowning it out. And what they're drowning out is just conditioning. Everybody feels it. Everybody knows that there's a part of them that wants to live freely and openly. But people just accept that this is just the way things are and the more and more they build things around that, some of them forget that they're even conditioned and they become their conditions and their walking conditions. But the people of today and the people who have woken up and went, no, 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 shit is wrong, are the people who started to make things different. They started to make the world change in many different ways. They started to make situations different they started to change and trends it's, it, it, all kind of shit started to happen from people who went there's something wrong and there is and what's the what's the issue is just the stop of expression that's what it is the judgment upon that which we want to express and that we, that we feel comfortable to express not around people but in front of people we turn completely different so before the expression, sometimes it's judging upon the expression. But to give you guys just back to the formula of how to be able to start to express yourself in a way you want to and, and freely and openly um, is a practice, by the way. 
is expression is the first thing. Now, to express is what I said before. To allow yourself to express whatever comes through you in this moment. That's verbally or physically. And that's everything from love to happiness to joy to anger to frustration to um, horniness. You allow everything to just be expressed through you. Now, with this expression that comes through you, you will notice that it has different intensities to it. Sometimes it wants to be expressed very, very loudly. Sometimes it wants to be expressed more quietly. Sometimes it wants to be expressed with a lot of intensity. Sometimes it wants to be expressed more softly. But are you giving it the expression that it's due? I have an amazing video that talks about expression. You guys should go check it out. I, 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 I put it out sometime in the fall. I remember putting out a video on expression. And that one tells you about, you know, being able to express yourself in intensity and not in intensity. But expression is first. And now, as you allow something to be expressed through you with the intensity that is due, what will happen is that it will start to affect those around you, especially if it's coming from a clear place. And I'm not talking about reaction. Reaction and expression are two different things. Reaction is you feeling something on the inside and unconsciously doing whatever that makes you do. That's out of control. Expression is actually in your control because you're knowing that it's coming through you. This is why I talk so much about meditation, that you knowing that, oh, fuck, I'm expressing anger, even as it's coming through you. Or I'm expressing happiness or fucking I'm feeling that I'm horny and you're aware of that. And it's coming and, it's, and you're allowing it to, 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 to be expressed. But it may be a blockage after that because after you express that, you may not even want people to receive it. Because you're afraid of how you will feel if that person didn't receive it in the way that you want them to receive it. So I would say when you're expressing yourself in any kind of way, let go of how you want other people to feel around you for, for you having expressed that. Because it's not important on how they will react to you. What's important is how you expressed it. Because if you express it with the intensity that is due, I don't care if it's really, really intense expression or it's really, really soft expression. If it's given the intensity that is due, both of these will be just as strong. It will be because it'll be totally tailored to the situation and how you want to express yourself in it. Of course, if you guys want to know so much about this, uh, you would have to come do live training for me to be able to at least for, for me to show you this in person, uh, face to face with me and in front of women. But back to it. You give it the intensity that is due and the beautiful thing that you would notice about it is that it just leaves. And as it's doing that, you know, like I said, the blockage may come up and the blockage is just, just, you know, the wanting people to receive it in a certain way. And as you let go of people wanting to receive it in a certain way, you just focus on expressing that what it is and you just allow it to be received or not be received. That's what it is. You allow it to be received or not be received. And in the allowing it to be received or not be received, allowance comes in. The feeling, though, is the part that everybody is not tuning into. Because as you feel what's happening from the other person, allowance is there. So for you to really be able to do this process, this cycle of, well, I would say a process because it's a practice. It first starts with you expressing. And expression is outward flow of energy of something. And as you, out, as you express yourself or you allow something to be expressed to you, 
feel what's going to happen. Because now I'm going to talk about the thing that everybody's avoiding is the feeling part. Feel what's going to happen inside of you. Really feel it and tune into how are you feeling when you just expressed it. Be aware of how you're feeling and how the other person is feeling as well. Be just aware. Don't want them to feel any kind of way. Don't do it with an intention for them to feel any kind of way because you can't control that. But just tune in to how the person is feeling and how you're feeling. And maybe they express back to you or maybe they react back to you. Maybe they fucking just, you know, blow it off. Maybe they get angry and they react. But you allow them to do that. Allow them to be whatever they're going to be. Allow them to react in the way they're going to react. Just allow it. Or if they're expressing themselves, allow that as well. Just allow it. Because that process of express, feel, allow is just complete openness between you and the other person. There's no blockage. The blockage many of the times is in the feeling part. It's I don't want to feel this thing that they're going to like. I'm afraid of like, fuck, they're probably going to react this way and I don't want to feel whatever how they're going to react. I don't want to get I don't want the feeling of that. I don't want the feeling of guilt. I don't want the feeling of feeling like uh, I'm hurt. I don't want any of that. I, I just don't want to feel that. But the moment that you block off that channel and say, I don't want to feel that, then you completely are, you're, you're training yourself to be open only to things that's good coming toward you. And there's nothing wrong with you only wanting people around you in your life close to you who make you feel good. But when you're constantly always trying to keep everybody around you in a good feel place you're not really being yourself because people will react to you if you're really truly being yourself people will absolutely react to you they they have to because we don't agree with everything else that everyone does especially the world who are built around chaos and reaction they will completely react to you there will people you'll be doing something with total good intent and people will react harshly to you but it's like, do you feel that flow between you and the other person, even as they're reacting? Because if you feel and allow, which means that they're reacting to me right now, as because I just expressed something. They are reacting to me right now. Great, they're reacting. And I'm feeling that, fuck, I don't feel good about this person reacting to that. That is not their issue that you don't feel good. You need to just feel that because that feeling of not feeling good is stemming from years back. That's not even them. It's just that they've struck a chord in you and they've caused a reaction inside of you as well. But you just allow that reaction to be there and you allow them to be as they are. And you will notice that the flow between you two becomes completely open. And there's actually, fuck, there's actually a connection because as you allow the flow between you and the person who's reacting to you, you will start to see underneath their reaction. But your stoppage of that flow blinds you to the person because they are not their reactions. That's just what they're doing. That's just how they are behaving. That's not them though. This process, this practice is something that you guys need to take into account really deeply because this is the difference between your life being grandiose and the way you want it to be or your life being mediocre. This is the difference. Something I've noticed within myself over the time of me learning this and coming to this is that the more I settled within myself, the more I became quiet on the inside. The more I started being freedom, instead of trying to do to become freedom, which I would make a video on, is when I started to understand 
this incredible process, this practice that I even do. I'm not independent of this practice. I still do this practice. I started to do this practice when I noticed that I struggle with this. It's very difficult though. In the moment, and the person's reacting to you, it's very difficult to stay open. It's very difficult to, to allow the flow of what's happening between you two to be there. It's very difficult for you to tune into your feeling and their feeling at the same time. This is why you being able to settle within yourself helps you to feel more on the inside. And as you feel more on the inside, you can feel more on the inside of others. Because you're tuned in with your entire self. Oh, so many things I can give you guys. Holy fuck, this is so great. Tuning in to yourself while you're in front of somebody. And that moment that things are, are happening is how you're going to be able to transform the moment. The moment doesn't have to be, fuck, I got into this argument with this dude. No, it's just me and this person, this happened. That's all it is. You don't need to be, he was a fucking asshole. No, 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 none of that. That's just total your reaction to the moment. <laughs> but you can start to really be you. No more waiting. No more waiting expressing yourself. No more waiting. No more waiting with these blocked energies on the inside of you. You actually are walking around as with so many energy blocks inside of yourself just because of your conditioning. Just because if you saw, you've allowed this. You're a king at allowing conditioning. You're a king at allowing yourself to be less than you are. You're a king at that. You're incredible at it. I challenge you to be incredible with the other side that you want to be, which is a lot more painful, of course, because the letting go of what you know, of what you think you know, is the painful part. Express, feel, allow. It's not like this. Right now I'm expressing something. Okay, now I got to tune into the feeling. Okay, now I got to allow it. No, 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 no. It all is happening at the same time, but it's, can you tune in to that process? It's a practice. It is. It is an absolute practice. I express something. As I'm expressing it, my only objective as I'm expressing it is to tune in to the feeling that I'm feeling while expressing it. Because as I tune into the feeling, I can now be tuned into how the other person's feeling with that. And as I'm tuned into their feeling, I don't shut down because I feel like, oh, fuck, they're fucking getting angry, so I'm going to shut down. No, I allow them to get angry. I allow them to be fucking pissed off. I allow them to fucking whatever they're going to do. But I'm tuned into the feeling, which is the important part. The feeling underneath. Yeah, they're angry, but that's only an expression. I mean, anger is only something... No, it's reaction, actually. I'm sorry. Expression, I told you, comes from a clear place. But you can express yourself angrily, but most people express themselves out of reaction. But if somebody's in front of you and they're expressing themselves from a clear place, oh, fuck, you've, you've met a person who's a great fucking match for you. You should become friends with that person. From a clear place, that means that they can express something and then totally just be clear space again. This is amazing. But can you allow this process to happen between you and other people? This happened between you and a woman as well. The process of I'm expressing something to the woman. I can feel that the woman is uncomfortable with what I just expressed. I'm allowing her to be uncomfortable, but now from that place, I intuitively feel that I need to step back. I need to have empathy or I feel that fuck. I feel just understanding of her situation because wow, this is strange for you, isn't it? I can see that you're shy. You just start to shift everything that's happening because you're tuned in.
You're really attuned to what's happening between you and the person. You're attuned to the feeling that you're feeling as the person is feeling that. And as you're attuned to that, immediate connection happens. And in that immediate connection, that flow and that mesh of connection allows you to see them differently. This is why I say you will see the person differently if you attune to the feeling. Because the feeling is the most natural part, but the most scary part to feel because we are afraid of the feeling because we feel like fuck when somebody's giving us harm or when there's a projection of maybe harm may come my way i don't want to feel it and this is the exact route that you need to go <clears throat> so some new things to just tell you guys you know to wrap up the video is that i'm coming out with the product and that product is a starting point for seminars and talks that I'll be doing in the future. So in June, my, my product will come out. But after June, what I will be doing is that I will be touring around at some point. And I'll be going into Germany. I'll be going into the Netherlands. I'll be going to Australia. I'll be going to America. And I'll be going to... Uh, other places that I feel that I need to go so I can be able to be in person with you guys, bring you into a room, talk, and really be able to give you these things that I'm saying because when you're in front of me, everything's different. It is. So that's just the new thing that I want to tell you guys that'll be coming out in the future after my product launch. You know, me just doing talks around the world and in the cities, you know, near you. So be looking out for that. Uh, but for now, my product's coming out June 23rd, where I will be giving you guys the chance to understand many of these things that I'm talking about. Of course, it's a, it's a from nice guy to masculinity, masculine man product. But it, in, it, in, it entails so many different things that I'll talk to you guys about. I'm a little tired, you know, I just woke up, but and I kind of continue working, but I love you guys, and I am so happy that I'm able to give you this amazing uh, discovery that I've come through within myself to help you express yourself. From the mountains, my second to last day, I'll be back in Budapest next, in later in a few days. I'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues I've covered it in this video series that you know packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom if you want this it's totally free if you want this click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out until next time i'm out